Get free tech advice for your business from O2 Gurus. Search O2 Business for more. 2015 could be termed the year of the smartwatch. At the beginning of the year, I wasn't convinced by the product category, and now I am, for the most part. I'm not completely convinced by every manufacturer. Pebble, for example, and their Pebble OS is decent enough, but poor hardware lets it down. When you look at Android Wear, though, you've got so much versatility when it comes to hardware. It really is available for thin wrists, thick wrists, males, females, and you've got battery life extending into two days, which you didn't have last year. Year, which is great. You don't have Android Pay just yet and the UI is confusing, but if you're kitting out a small business, you can do so at £100 a pop for a Sony Smartwatch 3, which is really good value for money. You can get wrist-based notifications, limited offline application support, but still an altogether decent smartwatch experience. Moving on to Tizen from Samsung, and this really is the best, most intuitive UI of the pack, available on the Samsung Gear S2 and Gear S2 Classic. Again, no Samsung Pay, which means no watch-based payment systems are available at the moment for Android. And you do have relatively poor app support compared to Android Wear and watchOS, but it really is an out-of-the-box intuitive UI experience. For example, if all you're gonna be doing is checking your notifications, your email, Facebook updates, etc., from your watch, as well as using things like your calculator, your timer. I really can't recommend anything above the Tizen based Gear S2 and Gear S2 Classic. I prefer the look of the Gear S2 Classic, but the prices are also relatively competitive across the Gear S2 base model as well. This is especially when compared to watchOS or specifically the Apple Watch. The Apple Watch is easily the most expensive of the pack. I also don't think it's the best looker in whatever guise it comes in but it does support Apple Pay, making it an incredibly easy to use payment system from your wrist and the only one currently available in the UK. You also have decent application support as well. It was updated throughout the year with a pretty major update which improved performance. And while there is a very convoluted UI at the heart, when you get used to it, it becomes pretty easy to navigate around. Ultimately, therefore, the range of hardware in the Android Wear camp, the quality of the user interface in the Tizen camp, and the versatility that Apple Pay and offline application support in the Apple Watch just mean that every smartwatch operating system has its real selling point. It's actually really exciting. While smartphones have kind of stagnated with Apple's iOS and Android being very similar to what they were a year ago, with smartwatches, everything's changed and everything is still to play for. Who knows what we'll be seeing in 2016, but hopefully you've enjoyed our brief overview of smartwatch operating systems at the end of 2015. If you did, then click that thumbs up button. And of course, if you like BTEC, subscribe to the channel. That's how you'll stay on top of everything we do. Get free tech advice for your business from O2 Gurus. Search O2 Business for more.